I don't feel like shit. It's just, this is the way I sound. Not to mention, I'm kind of out of it a little bit. So, because I didn't really get good sleep. Man, just tossing and turning and sweating. Sweating. Waking up in pools of sweat. It's so much fun, man. So, sorry for my lack of energy. Sorry for my lack of energy today. I'm just not there, dudes. Sorry. In late 2019, the music artist Negative XP went viral as a result of his song, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Ruined a Generation of Women, mocking a stereotype of girls with dyed hair and comparing them to the film's most recognizable character, Ramona Flowers. The song quickly exploded in a way he likely couldn't have expected. Its success across TikTok and subsequent controversy due to some of the lyrics resulted in the growth of not just his career, but the popularity of his niche as a whole. With an online community forming around what detractors labeled incel punk. The other artists within this subgenre began generating attention of their own, developing loyal followings on music sharing sites like SoundCloud. As time passed, it became clear these artists were not simply amidst a fad. Negative XP had given life to a small corner of the internet that was here to stay. And eventually, some of these guys started to think, hey, what if we were to hang out, but not in a Discord call, in real life? Two years later, this ragtag group of anti-social musicians would become significant enough to host their own concert, with hundreds announcing online that they would be traveling to attend the event. Fringe e-celebrities promised to make appearances, drawing in their own audiences. But things didn't go entirely as planned. Political activists rallied their followers, the police were called to the scene, and attendees had their doxes posted on Twitter as retribution for attending. This is the story of Virgin Fest. 2021. It almost sounds like no one, I don't know. The intro of it made it sound like none of these none of these people were at fault. It's just like outside entities trying to be dicks and stop them from having fun or doing something, but maybe that's the case, maybe it's not. We're going to find out. Virgin Fest was announced early in the summer, with a specific date picked out in advance for the event, September 11th. It was to be held at a tattoo shop in Atlanta, Georgia. Tickets were going to be sold at the door, priced at $5 each for attendees. Headlining the- Yo, how big is this tattoo shop? <laughs> I think you're gonna need a bigger space. The event was, of course, Negative XP, alongside other associated acts from his collective. The initial lineup advertised performances from Hard Christ, Hot Leather, Eggy or Egg White, and Soda Boy 64. These names may not mean much to someone outside of the community, but to those familiar with the scene, this was an important event. All of these people have small but loyal followings, with their fans feeling that their music touches on subject material many artists would rather ignore. Add the fact that they weren't going to shy away from making jokes about about controversial subjects, and it's no surprise why they managed to garner such loyal fan bases. And at Virgin Fest, all of these big names would be meeting in person for the first time to do live performances for their fans. So Negative been, XP, so who is known fun. for his contradictory statements on Twitter, claimed to be unaware of what Virgin Fest was, despite being listed as the main act, and even accused them of using his name without permission for advertising. Needless to say, he's a liar, and not to be trusted. Uh. Unfortunately, not everyone originally listed would be able to attend firstly its location made actually traveling this place sucks this place sucks guys never drive through the actual city it's hell it's legit hell it's completely awful and is that uga or is that georgia tech i don't fucking know i don't know but the 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 very few times i've driven through this i always take the outs the outskirts i stay on the outside i never go through it ever it is just a pain the thoughts that go through my head would have me arrested on they'd have me arrested on war crimes the thoughts that go through my head when i the times that i've driven through the city of atlanta just don't do it bro save yourself save yourself the headache and the urge to commit violence just save yourself 
anyone not living in the South, or more specifically, the Georgia area, it wouldn't be cheap to travel for a one-day event. This price is something that many neats, who foolishly squandered their riches on obscure altcoins, wouldn't be able to afford. Within the first week, Soda Boy 64 had already dropped out, and another would-be performer stated that they couldn't attend due to some unfortunate mental health issues. 13th Century Cowboy was going to be one of the smaller artists featured, most well-known for his song about the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. People seemed really excited for him to attend and hear him perform live. But just weeks before the event, his real-life identity was compromised, resulting in him deleting his entire internet presence. Consequently, most of his discography is currently lost, with only bits and pieces available here and there. By the time the event was actually set to happen in September, nearly half the lineup which was initially announced had either dropped out of the event or quit the scene entirely. Regardless- Or, you know, you probably could have picked a better date. Because... September 11th is a day of significance. I don't think anyone's going to want to go and party with you when it's September 11th has essentially become a day of remembrance. And here, here soon in the future, they're going to start giving people the day off for September 11th if they haven't started doing that already. So y'all picked a terrible date for this, truly. Like, you, could, you couldn't have picked a worse date for this sh for this at all period that's rough this the remaining members were still enough of a draw for version fest to continue and the week before it took place updated promotional material was posted clarifying its current status tickets would no longer be sold in person and had to be purchased online they even had a merchandise you gotta pur purchase tickets online just to get into a tattoo shop i'm telling you it's gonna go bad now with t-shirts being sold for 20 dollars each simply reading I lost my virginity at Virgin Fest. Oh. Gotcha. Up until this point, the existence of Virgin Fest had remained pretty underground. Word of the concert stayed within the small community which planned to attend. Posts advertising the event only received a few hundred likes, at most. But that didn't mean that no one else was paying attention. Cowboy's identity wasn't simply leaked online on accident. He was actively docked. Here's a secret to never sending an email with typos uh, ever again. That's what I think Grammarly is fucking ad. catches your mistakes as you make them If I had to rip ass, so I'd do it too. That's awesome. what I think. Docs before he wiped everything. With the entire community being involved in off-color jokes about everything under the sun, they were bound to attract the attention of some rather unsavory parties, including those known for posting the private info of those they don't like online. Yeah, what the entirety of Virgin Fest didn't know is that while they were planning the it's event- It's ironic. The name of this video is Virgin Fest, but anyone who engages in doxing, that's exactly what you are. A pussy cowardly fucking virgin. <laughs> Another group was carefully monitoring its conceptualization closely. With the event scheduled that very day, they saw it fit to strike. The 11th of September had finally arrived. I love the song in the background. I love that song in the background. Is it what is Black Betty, I think? Scheduled that very day, they saw it fit to strike. The 11th of September had finally arrived. The morning before Virgin Fest was set to take place, the Atlanta anti fascist published an over 30. Oh, is this what? Anquifa? Gotcha. Pretty tweet long chain warning the public about the event. They wrote, Heads up, tonight at Toki Tattoo, far right edgelord hipsters are holding Virgin Fest. The headliner, Negative XP, is a misogynist piece of shit. You know what's funny is that I'm almost pretty sure that these far right edgelord hipsters could mop the fucking floor with all you fucking anti fascists. Because I've seen y'all in public, bro. Y'all are pathetic. I've seen you turd bags set yourselves on fire with your own Molotov cocktail. You get no respect. You get no points. You, you get nothing. Y'all are just, y'all are beneath everyone. Y'all are trash. Y'all are garbage. Y'all are just, <clears throat> y'all are the, y'all are the shit on the bottom of my shoe, really. So that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> whose best-known song is about a whore, a hole. Many of his followers are racist groipers who will likely attend. It doesn't matter if they're doing this to be edgy. Recent years have shown that, ironically, supporting white power and far-right organizing is actually just supporting racist or- That's mindless dribble. 
coming from brain dead, brainwashed, motherfucking coward ass pussies that watch too much CNN. Christ Almighty. <laughs> Organizing. They go on to describe Negative XP's persona, writing like the these. I, I I don't really care who these people are, like the 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 Virgin Fest story. But from what I'm seeing and from what I'm understanding is that they just wanted to go to a place have a good time, perform their music for their audience, for their followers, for their, for their, their fans and stuff like that. And y'all, y'all can't let them do that. Who gives a shit? Like, uh, idolizes mass shooters and pointing out that he follows several explicitly right-wing accounts on his Instagram page. Raven, the events organizer and employee of the tattoo. Yo, Strider for Life with the 100 bits. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Michael J. Fox in Spider Man by Brian Monarch. I am down. We'll do that. Uh, we'll do that tonight. I appreciate it, Strider. Uh, a two shop where it was to be held tried to reach out in private to explain that the concert was not politically motivated. From her messages, she seemed to be. But these Anquifa soy boys and soy girls with smelly vaginas—they take everything as racist they take everything as bigotry they take everything as misogyny and when you take everything as everything like y'all do no one actually gives a fuck when there is actually a problem when there is actual misogyny no one listens because you motherfuckers have cried wolf way too many times what y'all need is y'all need to go to sam's and buy tampons in bulk is what y'all need. I think that would be the best bet for Antifa, Anquifa, whatever the fuck y'all call y'all selves. Take your, get your comrade to drive you to the store and buy some tampons for your heavy flow and your wide set vagina, bros. Like, that's, that's what I need you to do because y'all are pretty pathetic. Acting in good faith, simply trying to explain the situation and mitigate the controversy. Can you please delete your tweet about Virgin Fest? We are not associated with Reapers at all. This is simply a fun show we are throwing, and none of us are far right. This attempt at extending an olive branch. Yeah, dude, it wasn't even, it's not even a, yeah, it's just like we just want to get together with our friends and y'all are just being fucking turds. Really, you shouldn't even tweet at these people. You shouldn't even engage with these people. You know that saying, don't argue with a fucking idiot. They'll drag you down to your level. They'll drag you down to their level, essentially. Like, that wasn't really necessary, perhaps, but, like... Branch was futile, as Antifa opted to publish her request and to then make parallels between the event's performers and the actual perpetrator of a mass shooting last year. The women-hating, far-right performer is being hosted in Atlanta less than half a year after a massage. Like, and here's what I don't understand. Why does anyone give a fuck if someone hates women? Like, if... Of, of course there's people that hate women, but I don't give a fuck about those people. Why are, why are they bothering me? What could they possibly do to bother me? They get on the internet and they say, I hate women. Well, congrats, bro. You're either gay or get no bitches. Why do y'all get mad? This shit doesn't bother me at all. Y'all get so mad about misogyny. Who gives a shit? You can't stop it. It's not against the law to be misogynist. It's not illegal. Y'all are just some fucking brain-dead fairy bitches, bro. Like, yikes. I hope that one of you fucking turdback shows up in my channel one day, because I'm going to roast the fucking shit out of you, bro. I'm going to run circles around your ass verbally. I'm going to shit on you rotisserie style. Like, fuck with me, I dare you. I dare you. Misogynist gunman murdered eight people in our community. Obviously, this language was very inflammatory. No... A psycho motherfucker murdered eight people in your community. You just want to push a fucking agenda to, to further validate what CNN tells you because you can't form your own opinions because you're all brain dead fucks. Yikes. I'm so glad I'm me and I'm so glad you're you because if I were you, I'd make the ultimate sacrifice. I couldn't live in your shoes. That's too pathetic of an existence and began to generate bad press for the event. Due to the newfound controversy, Virgin Fest was dropped by the tattoo shop mere hours before attendees were scheduled to arrive. In all reality, I don't think y'all were going to fit in that tattoo shop, but... ...to see the performances. The event organizer wrote on her Instagram story, Virgin Fest is not being held at Toki Tattoo. Sorry if I offended or gave the wrong ideas out. I did not know the extent of the situation. 
I do not support extreme views. Love you. Be safe, everyone. This, once again, did nothing to quell the Twitter anti-fascists, who instead called for Raven to be fired by her employers and published her personal information to Twitter. But there was no way to cancel or postpone the event now. People had made travel plans to attend. Some had spent hundreds to be there. With the performers already present, and people having made arrangements to arrive, the event was miraculously able to find a new home, four minutes away at the Chosewood Park. In spite of the opposition and controversy online, people began turning up for the show, and performers prepared their sets. I know that a lot of people from different political backgrounds are going to watch this video, and many will vehemently disagree with the views of some of the performers involved. I don't give a fuck about the views of the performers involved, man. You're performing. You're doing art. You're, 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 it's a show. It's a show. I could give a fuck what you stand for. If I don't like what you stand for, I'm just not going to go see it. But to go out of your way and dox and harass anyone that's trying to get together and do their own thing... Yo, fucking let them do it. I didn't know about Virgin Fest. Y'all want to go out there in the fucking woods or a tattoo parlor and play misogynistic music? By all means, I don't fucking care. How is that? How is that hurting me? How is that hurting you? I know why it's hurting you. Because you're a pathetic fucker with no life, no girlfriend, and all you do is sit at home, rage at the internet, and play with your wiener. Because you're a pathetic fucking nobody that needs validation by harassing other motherfuckers. That's it. Y'all live a pathetic fucking existence. And here I was at the very beginning of this video thinking that I was about to shit on a whole bunch of virgins. Yo, let them do their fucking thing, dog. I mean, god damn. And the messages within their music. But I think it's worth emphasizing that this one- Again, I want to state it right now. Clip it, please. If you want to, send it to one of these fucks. And, and these anti-fascist motherfuckers and Quifa is what I call you. Y'all are pathetic, irrelevant soy boy and soy girls. The men of Anquifa have little dicks and the women of Anquifa have smelly ass vaginas. Fuck y'all, bro. Y'all are pathetic. Y'all are fucking losers. Y'all will always be nothing. Always be fucking nothing. Desperate little small fucking people on the internet desperate for fucking attention. Because you grew up without a daddy. That's it. You want attention and approval because you're fatherless. Pathetic motherfuckers. It wasn't meant to be a political rally. It was a concert for people who liked music and nothing more than that. That's why y'all behave the way y'all behave. And none of y'all can fight either, which is so fucking funny. I've seen y'all fight. Every single one of y'all gets y'all's asses whooped. Every single one of y'all gets y'all's asses whooped, which is why y'all choose to sucker punch people and mace people and jump people like six against one because at, at, at the end of the day, y'all are pussy fucking cowards that are worthless to the very fabric of this fucking nation and we would be better off without you. Gonna take a step further. The whole fucking planet would be better off without you. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying we would be better off. That's, that's it. That's like, y'all are pathetic as fuck. Raven had organized the event solely out of appreciation for the music and as a fun time for people who had been spending so much time together online. Even if you Send them to China, why would we do that to China? Why would we ruin China like that? I wouldn't send these people to any fucking country. I wouldn't want to put, I, I don't want to put that evil on anyone, Ricky Bobby. On anyone. I don't want these people going to, I, they need to be gone, bro. Put them on the first rocket to fucking Mars. The first test rocket. It could explode, it could make it. Either way, they're gone. Fuck them. Don't believe her, it begs the question of if people are allowed to simply host a concert independent of their views. The way they were framing it was as if we were witnessing the formation of a militia, or some kind of active threat against the local community's safety, when it was really just a bunch of kids in a park singing some songs together. Yeah. The musicians and attendees alike were there for one reason alone, to have a good time. That's Despite it. the venue being changed last minute, forcing the performances to be held outside. They didn't care, bro, as long as they got to hang. To me, to me it, it, it really seems like they, they, didn't really give a fuck where the venue was. They just wanted to be together. They just wanted to hang out. 
Could have been under a fucking bridge for all they cared, really, I think. Meaning there would be no electric guitars or drums or amps. The sets were reworked to be done unplugged. The actual event lasted four hours in total and was broadcasted live on Twitch by a streamer named Trophy, where every major plot point can be seen. Negative XP, who had made tweets claiming he wouldn't be performing and had family matters to attend that prevented him from going, snuck into the crowd dressed in camouflage and a fake beard. His set lasted only 20 minutes long due to him not being able to perform with all of his gear, but attendees still seemed to appreciate seeing him live in any capacity. Everything was going well, despite the major setbacks. But as you may have guessed, given their previous relentlessness, Antifa- It sounds like pop punk, really. Like their genre of music. Uh, because, you know, we like music around here. It's the, the, that, whatever he's singing, it sounds like pop punk, really. Uh, like, like early, early 2000s, like emo rock is, is what that sounds like. I used to listen to that kind of music. Uh, going well, despite the major setbacks. But as you may have guessed, given their previous relentlessness, Antifa was not satisfied and continued live tweeting the concert. Well, they yeah, of course y'all aren't satisfied, man. Cause like I said, you got no life, no friends, and no bitches. If you did, you wouldn't be in this live stream complaining about shit that doesn't involve you. You pathetic fucking losers. <laughs> photographed a man with white nationalist tattoos, claiming that he was security. When the organizer responded that this wasn't true, Antifa instead stated that he had adopted the position and was effectively security, which to me sounds like libel, but whatever. They also took photos of random attendees to call them out for wearing t-shirts from bands they disapproved of, such as Burzum. Frustrated that they hadn't interfered enough for the event to be entirely canceled, Antifa resorted to calling law enforcement on the event. Oh, I guess they expected the police to show up to disperse the crowd and arrest the Asian guy with a bowl cut and a guitar. But because no laws had been broken, and given it wasn't a political rally, upon arriving, the officers simply stuck around and enjoyed their time even taking selfies with many of the concert goers. At one point, the crowd even began chanting, we love cops. The account wrote in response, event organizer Raven talked with the cops who were letting the event continue in the park after dark. Easy to imagine that going differently if it was a Black Lives Matter event. Oh. Antifa continued their campaign against Raven, refusing her apologies and demanding she be fired from Toki Tattoo. They eventually even doxed her and included it in the thread. Four days after the event, the business issued a statement formally announcing that she'd been let go. What if you could Antifa. do SEO smarter and faster? No one gives a fuck about With you. Wix, you can edit your Nobody. Meta tags page by page. Nobody. Let go. And Quifa, no one cares about you. Not even your fucking parents. That's why you behave that way. Y'all are useless fucking peons. Useless fucking peasants. Irrelevant to this motherfucking society. Like, holy shit. The word pathetic is not even good enough anymore to describe you fucking lowlifes. God damn. God. They wrote, Hello. Sorry for the delay in response. We needed a few days to collect our thoughts. We no longer employ Raven Rap. We had no part in planning or... or yeah, fuck that tattoo parlor. I hope y'all get no fucking business. At all. Ever. I hope y'all go out of business, actually. Organizing Virgin Fests. It was an independent event which we should have researched more on before we let it happen, and we take accountability for allowing them a platform. Sorry for all the chaos or trauma we caused anyone. We are a safe space, female POC owned business. And Never gonna go to your tattoo shop ever again. What's this called? Toki tattoos? Fuck Toki tattoos. You'll never get my goddamn business. Y'all are fucking trash. Do not support these extremist views at all. Love you all and be safe. Y'all literally just catered to the softest motherfuckers on the planet. Yeah, y'all will never get business from me. And I love tattoos, but rest assured, if I ever go to Atlanta and want to get a tattoo, I will not be visiting your trash ass establishment. Meanwhile, in Virgin Fest's official Discord server, Raven wrote, It's over for me, bros. My life is over. People are calling for me to get fired. People in my community are canceling me. In their pursuit against authoritarian women- Y'all will never fucking cancel me. The only thing y'all are gonna- Y'all are gonna have to resort to doxing me because y'all are never gonna fucking cancel me. Ever. 
You cancel me on here, I go to Rumble and stream there. You cancel me on Rumble, I'll go to Kick and stream there. Like, you will never cancel me. You're just like you'll never cancel Andrew Tate. Just like you'll never cancel Steven Crowder. You'll never cancel the Hodge Twins. You ain't gonna cancel me. You ain't gonna cancel no goddamn body because y'all just low-life motherfuckers. Y'all are trash. Y'all are literally beneath the ground that I fucking walk on. If only y'all were actually beneath the fucking ground, the world would be better. Hating men, I guess? I, I, I don't really know. Antifa had managed to achieve a few victories, calling the cops on a peaceful demonstration and- That's not a victory, Tom. I hope you're being sarcastic, buddy. That's not a victory. That's pussy shit. That's weak pussy shit. Jesus Christ. Being a woman fired. The streets are laughing at you, and Quifa. The streets are laughing at you. From her job amidst the pandemic. All for the crime of helping put together an event for musicians who sing about rejection. Ultimately, the concert still managed to be a success, as memories were made and people who'd familiarized themselves online got to meet each other in person for the first time. Everyone at the event seemed happy to be there, supporting artists they liked. Despite the subject matter of many of the songs being anything but happy, it seemed wholesome looking in. What's the conclusion? To many, between the acoustic performance and crowd singing along, it felt like the end of an era. The future of events such as these remains up in the air given the backlash Virgin Fest received. Interestingly, it was later discovered that Antifa had sent someone to attend the event undercover. Well, I, I say undercover, but it's pretty obvious who here is Antifa. In the aftermath of the entire ordeal, Negative XP wrote a post directed at her, stating, The weird thing, besides you lying for most of this thread, is if you were there, you could have talked to me about what I'm about instead of shitting your pants on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You're a coward, a liar, and your soul is going to burn in hell for your sins may god have mercy on you prior to the cops arriving oh look at this and in typical anquifa fashion that's why i call you fucking turds anquifa because y'all are fucking pussies you're unable to view this tweet because this account owner limits who can view their tweets only a fucking pussy does that shit only a fucking coward pussy does that shit. It's just like turning off, turning off the like, turning off the likes and the comment section on your YouTube video. That's pussy shit, bro. Cowardly. It's not fucking respected, and none of you will ever get fucking respect. Ever. The only thing in your future is a trip to the motherfucking ICU. Going to burn in hell for your sins. May God have mercy on you. Prior to the cops arriving at the events, there was no real threat of danger. So, it's strange they were called at all. I doubt this undercover Antifa super soldier David, have felt a good particularly night, man. threatened, given the fact that she went to the event unhindered. She even got the chance to take creep shots of people to expose them on social media. At the end of the day, Virgin Fe- Of course, it's some bitch with green hair. Of course it is. Fest was a bunch of losers Why from the internet coming together to celebrate the work of artists they enjoy. Controversial as their music may be, it sounds a lot more wholesome than getting people fired for organizing a concert. But hey, maybe that's just me. I've been Turkey Tom. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it, like, see, like, had you, see, you dumb motherfuckers have no tact. No fucking tact at all. All you had to do was just post on social media of Virgin Fest and be like, Oh, hey guys, look at Virgin Fest. Look at the music they're playing and look at, uh, look at what they're singing, singing about. I just wanted to let you guys know. What do y'all think? I feel like that would have done more damage to Virgin Fest than you screaming at the top of your lungs like a triggered bitch-ass Karen. But you scream to the top of your lungs like a triggered bitch-ass Karen and that just made everyone disregard what the fuck you were saying even faster. Had you been like, oh, look what this group is about and y'all are going to have a concert? Let me know what you guys think, right? That would have gone a longer way because then people would have had their own opinions instead of having you trash motherfuckers try to force an opinion down their throat. And people don't fucking like that. So they probably ignored you out of motherfucking spite. I ignore you because y'all are irrelevant trash. But in the moment, these motherfuckers ignored you because you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. And you're literally proving their fucking point. And you're behaving worse than they are, claiming they're the problem, yet you're doing all the fuck shit. Get the fuck out of my goddamn country. I don't fucking want you here. I am racist against Anquifa. Y'all are fucking turds. I look down on y'all. Y'all are fucking beneath me. I don't like 
your fucking kind. Get the fuck out of my goddamn country. Yeah, and it's so ironic that y'all spend all fucking day bitching about police, but then call police fucking hypocrites, just like the entire BLM organization. That I can't tell who's more trash, Anquifa or BLM. Anytime I try to put myself in the shoes of someone that is part of Anquifa, all I can think about is self-harm. Really, truly, I try to put myself in their shoes and I immediately reach for a razor blade. I've tried and the, like that's just not conducive because I, I like my life. And so like I can't I can no longer put myself in your shoes. That's how fucking pathetic y'all are. So if we switch shoes, y'all would have a great life and I would be in a cemetery.